then in attack, Max, the youngster playing alongside Diego Rubio and the speedy Kevin Cabral looking to lead the line, perhaps get in behind the press of St. Louis City. And Kevin Cabral and Max involved in that midfield as well. The young Brazilian is really starting to come on. He got a goal last time out against Charlotte FC. Referee Marcos de Oliveira gets us started. It is St. Louis City looking to continue their brilliant expansion season away at Colorado Rapids. In next to Edward Lovin and then Joe Aquini and Klaus, two contrasting forwards with good chemistry of themselves. Course. Well, the level of competition, the level of energy the, there as he's putting it. It's directed behind it towards Joe Aquini. He's making the run down the middle. Klaus could profit. Here's Klaus with his weaker right. Unable to catch it cleanly, Olsen. Rosenberry onto it. In behind for Max. Lovely back into the path of Rosenberry. Rosenberry through the penetrating strike. It's off the post. Lovely move, but Rosenberry just unable to apply the finish. Rubio now through the area. Well, I just love the creativity by Keegan Rosenberry here. He's not just playing in that wing back position and looking to get vertically. He cuts inside. How about that little back heel from Kevin Cabral and then just inches away. 1v1 now against Nelson. Max. Leaving it for Keegan Rosenberry. Straightforward work there for Roman Burke. Acosta coming forward. He's got Max with him. Max going to go in alone. Here's Max. And Rosenberry flying beyond him, but went for the strike. You see Max take this touch centrally. And yes, you had Rosenberry make. Acosta up towards Rubio and again trying to find Cabral running it behind the flag will stay down temporarily Kevin Cabral towards his near post stings it towards Berkey the flag coming up yet again I'll be inside Cabral in behind Hebert but he has to come back for it Acosta now on for Diego Rubio nice first touch Rubio and Berkey it was awkward we can see the frustration by Diego Rubio first of all how about that vision by Brian Acosta he just lucky, quite frankly, to get his hands up in time. That one looked like it was headed straight towards his face. If I'm Robin Frazier, I'm pleased with and going to walk away from in this first half is the fact that 7 of 11 have been on frame. Acosta into the air and a nice ball for Ronan. Acosta! Again, it's right at Berkey, who dealt with it at his near post. And again, just yet to make it tell. Okay, now 8 of 12 have been <laughs> on frame. Tough to score and beat Berkey from that angle. But again, if I'm Robin Frazier heading into halftime, I'm praising my team for the chances created, the use of the space in behind. Bradley Carnell getting almost everything right so far in their early season, but certainly an adjustment to make after a 45 minutes and they were fairly soundly out forward. 5v3 in the attack, but Klaus stonewall there by Max. Vasilev helping it on, and now there's plenty of space for Rasmus Alm. In there, here's Alm! Saved there by Yarbrough, another big one across for Stroud, who hits it into side netting! That is an absolute sitter, but Jared Stroud couldn't make it a goal for a second week running. You see them on the break, numbers up, and make the absolute right decision to get this one out to Alm. Yarbrough does just enough to make that first save, and then Jared Stroud, you gotta go with your left foot. Vasilev. Hands go up for offside, but Stroud can get the cross in. In towards Alm, who makes no mistake this time! The two players who just missed golden chances, creating another, and St. Louis again lead away from home. To the left, he had an earlier role on that opportunity previously, but how about this service into the box all the way in the air? There is no bouncing. This is an easy one to finish for Alm to just push it with the inside of his right foot. Great play by the two wide players of St. Louis City. And how about that? Just 10 minutes into the second half. Betasher is off. Production of Jonathan Lewis. Actually, for Yappy. It's to sweep up the danger. Acosta got in there ahead of John Nelson. He's away. He's got Lewis running with him. Brian Acosta in towards Lewis. Jonathan Lewis saved by Berkey. Best chance of the second half to equalize for the Rapids. Let's take a look at the first chance. First of all, the work for Brian Acosta here. He's got his head up. He's taking touches to eliminate the defender while he comes centrally, and that's just a great ball to Jonathan. Ronan's corner, part of the area. Heads go up, and it's a strong win in the air from Max 
Sue, but Berkey was behind it. Slipped in towards Rubio, who did well to control it. Yappy leaving it for Lewis. Jonathan Lewis! And again, Berkey down to his left, almost pulling it from behind him. Another huge save. Well, you first see the play in by Rubio. Jonathan Lewis takes a touch, a couple little touches, looking for just the window. He doesn't need to defend her. He just has the width of the ball and is able to get that one off. And how about... Rosenberry. Towards Preso. And Rubio around the corner. It's Barrios. Can he do it again? He has! Late drama. Late equalizer. Off the right boot of Michael Barrios yet again. It's 1-1, and there's still six minutes left to play. Look at that, just well in behind, just a little touch, and then he slams this one to the near post. Ops to go with power. The vision from Diego Rubio continuing to play a massive role for Colorado in their buildup. And then Michael Barrios, the sub, coming on, driving that one into the far, the near post, rather. The area. Jonathan Lewis trying to find Yappy. The deflection came in, but still here, Jonathan Lewis. Rubio strike! And a leaping catch from Berkey. The Rapids could do this. As a former defender who had Brianna Spurry yell at me whenever she had to make a save, she was almost offended <laughs> that she had to do a job. I understand what Roman Berkey is doing. He is talking to his defender. And there is the full-time whistle. Michael Barrios getting a late equalizer for a second week running. St. Louis forced to settle for a point for the first time in their Major League Soccer history.